Good morning guys, on this video clip I'm going to show you how I personally rig up for flathead. Okay, so it's going to be a quick demonstration on how I personally rig up for flathead. It's nothing technical, it's just simple. So I like to keep my rigs very, very simple uh, because you catch more fish that way. So first things first, I use a size 3 bull sinker. It's not tied to the main line, it just goes freely up and down the main line as so. Then I attach or put through these little pink orange, uh, red beads. Now the reason why I do that is because it will protect the knot that's on the swivel. So every time you cast or reel in your bait, that sinker is going to slide up and down your main line and it's going to hit the knot where the swivel is. So to prevent that knot from weakening, I always put um, a bead. It could be a red one, it could be one of those uh, glow-in-the-dark green beads. As long as you got some uh, protection there for the knot that's all that you need um, that just protects the knot and considering that this sinker is always sliding up and down um, you need something to cover that knot then I attach a size 8 swivel uh, you can go smaller you can go a bit bigger but I tend to go with the medium sized swivels um, usually flathead the flathead I catch is anywhere between 70 to 30 centimeters um, they're not massive uh, hard fighting fish but um, the main thing with a flathead rig is not the swivel or the sinker it's actually your trace so if you go too thin of a trace especially if you're bait fishing uh, you will end up losing the bigger fish because they tend to swallow the, the, the whole bait and if that trace is very thin and weak uh, just with one head shake they're going to snap the line and moving to the trace I generally use anywhere between 35 to 45 centimeters of fluorocarbon trace. I use FC rock for my fluorocarbon trace and it's around 12 pound. I could use 14 pound, but I like 12 pound because it's a perfect all rounder. It's light enough to attract the fish. It's light enough to present the bait very naturally. Um, anything above that, look, it all depends on your personal preference, but my personal preference is to use a 12 pound FC rock fluorocarbon leader and then I tie a size 1.0 flathead wide gap hook. Now this is a do and a breaker to catching flathead. If you don't have the correct hook on, you're not going to get the biggest hook up rates. You're going to miss fish, you're going to lose fish. If you use any hook other than this, you're not going to catch as much flathead. This hook is perfectly designed for fish with wide mouths such as flathead and it's perfect when you're using it with live bait such as potty mullet. When a flathead hits the potty mullet and you use this hook it will hook it on the side of the lip rather than swallowing the whole hook. This hook is by far the only hook to use for flathead. Don't go anything smaller because you will end up losing more fish. Um, so just to quickly wrap it up that is how my rig looks like. Sorry guys. That is how it looks like. That is all you need to get ready to catch those nice flathead wherever you're fishing. Now, if you're fishing on a channel where the current is very, very strong, I would suggest to use a bit bigger ball sinker, uh, but the size three is a perfect all rounder. Uh, you can cast it out to the distance, but also it will drift perfectly on the bottom where the fish are. And don't forget these beads, it will protect your knot, um, but the trace is the most important bit and also the hook. The hook is what will catch you the fish and if you use the wrong hook, you're not going to catch the fish. So it's a size 10 wide gap flathead hook and there's different brands, they come in different thicknesses. This brand here, the Kumo, they're a bit thick for my liking. I like the mustard ones because they're a lot thinner, but each to their own. So this is my personal flathead rig. It's caught me a lot of fish. And um, if you've got any more questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'm more than happy to respond and help you catch yourself flathead. I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah, happy fishing in tight lines.